Hello and welcome to UCD Bowl in Dublin as we continue our coverage of match day three at the World Cup in the Irish capital city. Coming up in a few minutes, we have Italy against Spain in Group B and plenty to play for on the line. So here we are, first look at the teams. And it looks like we're all set to go. Big day for Lucio Guy in the Italian front row, 50th cap and 70 for Silvia Gaudino. She played in the 2002 Rugby World Cup. She's back after several years' absence and started the opening match in this tournament against the United States of America when the Italians were outplayed and well beaten. So, teams out on the pitch and the rain has thankfully died off sunshine coming back out and not too much wind either to speak of in other words a perfect afternoon for a game and we hope the rugby reflects the conditions here plenty on the line fifth place playoff versus dropping to the bottom quarter and the final four teams we'll wait and see what happens as we prepare for the national anthems as we play the national anthem of Italy <laughs> Please remain standing as now we play the national anthem of Spain. So there we have it, the national anthems, and uh, a quick reminder of the teams for both sides. Four changes in total from the Italians' defeat to England last time out. Galdino comes back into the pack at number eight to win her 70th international cap. Lucia Guy, half a century in the front row. In the backs, Paolo Zangoralami comes into the centre with Michaela Silari and Sofia Stefan named on the wings. Manuela Furlan, plenty of pace and a proven try scorer at full back. 
Well, Spain coach Jose Antonio Barrio has opted for two changes to the side. Well beaten by USA. The pack remains the same, though, including three sevens players in Ribera, Medina, and Del Pan. Sure the new faces yeah, come out wide in the back line, and they are Barbara Garcia making her first start, and Barbara Platt full back, who returns from injury. And an interesting matchup between Platt and Furlan at full back. Replacements bench uh, Bina Barotita, proven sevens players, and Skiavon for the Eight Italians. Seconds. Plenty of experience as she will win her 81st cap if she comes on. So we're all set to go. Referee is Sarah Cox from England. Our assistants are Ian Tempest, also from England. Rose Labresh from Canada. TMO is Kevin Beggs from Ireland. <laughs> and Lynn Cantwell is beside me. Plenty to look forward to here. And two teams who desperately need a win. Absolutely. I suppose we haven't seen either of these teams Ten. actually attack an awful lot, Hugh, because they've been defending for their the most of their tournament so far against England and USA. So really, really excited to see both back lines get their hands on the ball. Both cool. teams like to kick the ball a lot, so I'd imagine there's an awful lot of play going to be an open play. Not too many people take up rugby to have to defend for 80 minutes, but that's literally what's happened with these two sides. And it will be great to see if... Uh, they can just stamp some kind of an impression attack-wise on this. We know there is pace in both back lines in particular. And I'm sure both coaches happy to see them get their hands on the ball and just work through the phases. A lot of them being on the back foot for the guts of the match, which happened in their opening two games. As the first carry from Melissa Batoni and our 38th cap, the Italian hooker, brings play almost to the 22-meter line. Back in the pocket, Beatrice Rigoni, and this is going to bounce awkwardly. And we just wonder there, should Barbara Pla have attacked that ball? Rather than risk the bounce. No, no. And they're queuing up to take it up. Vermeer, Ribera, the lock forward. Patricia Garcia, crash ball from Isabel Rico. Still there for Spain. And Fernandez gets her hands on it. The Italians come through, but they come through it eagerly. And it's quick tap and go, and Spain wasting no time. Good tackle goes in on Angela Del Pan. Got the pass away. And then Baratine tries to put down Garcia. Counter up by the Italians, uh, but illegal again. And another penalty. That's two penalties in the space of 30 seconds given away. Exactly, two Italian penalties. You can see the eagerness from both sides. You can see Spain just want to run the ball, but they're happy enough to settle within the rocks. But Italy are just being a little bit indisciplined and just pumping right through that rock, which is uh, which is giving the ball back to Spain. Ready for Patricia Garcia just to take her first little kick of the game. And she finds touch, really sweet right foot, Patricia Garcia. We're one minute we'll and a half again. in, and we've had two penalties against you. Baratine making the tackle, and the result is a, a line out just eight metres out from the Italian line. The throw over the top, though, a chance to steal it, but good awareness from Gonzalez, the captain, to pick it up off the ground. Options both sides for Fernandez no, wait, now. Wait. Goes to the right, taken up by Grasso. And the blind side so flanker leaves it for a scrum half. Garcia won't tank her scrum half for that one. Taken in by Marina Bravo. She had no room to work with. Fernandez tries a little snipe around the fringe. Tackled by Sofia Stefan. Pick and go again from Medin. And Spanish just keeping it tight inside the 22. And waiting for the holes to appear. Will they though? Garcia tries to go wide this time and. I couldn't hold on to it. It's a loose, scrappy ball. Boot through from Garcia. And it's back in the Spanish side. They've another penalty. Again offside against the Italians. And Patricia Garcia has a little gap for her. The pocket rocket almost at the five metre line. And queuing up on this left hand side. If Fernandez can get the ball out quickly. Italians slowing it down and doing a good job of doing so. Pick and go this time from Garcia. Ball still at the back. Gonzalez trying to get there. Rico. Rico just held short. Fernandez trying to dig one out. Queuing up on the right hand side. Hans should do it here. The pass wasn't held. Paula Medin and the seventh player should have done better from that. So unlucky by Spain. You could see the intensity of this game. Everybody's heart rate there at 180. Patricia Garcia did so, so well to go straight. Down. Everybody was close. lining up out just wide. A and then a room. lovely ball at the mid She just could see the line before she caught the ball. And just a little bit of a knock on back into Italy. Disappointing start for Spain. Paula Medin, well, she won't want to see a replay of that one. The try line had a mercy and just took her eye off the ball. Set. 
What a time to do it. And Sarah Baratin to feed the scrum. This will be interesting. Rico Gonzalez and Vinueta against Ferrari, Bettoni and Lucia Guy. It's clean ball for the Italians to use off the base of the scrum. And just to relieve a little bit of pressure. Rigoni back in the pocket and she finds touch just outside the Italian 22. Good start from Spain. Very good, yeah. I have a feeling that this is going to be the tempo that both teams want to play. You can see this Medine just on our on our screens there and Barbara Plow was on the outside. She was so just disappointed with herself. That's exactly the same place where Spain scored their only try of the tournament so far. But next time I'm sure that they get there, they'll be a little bit more secure. Tries have been a, at a premium for both teams. Down, no, no, pull down, pull down. As Lynn mentioned, okay. they spent the majority of Italy, the opening two games just defending. And stay down until the ball Spain comes with 434 in. tackles, the most in, of quicker, any team in Italy, please. not too far behind. Quicker. Set the gap. So it's uh, the loose head, Isabella Rico, to throw. And plenty out in the back line for Spain to use here if they manage to win the ball. They go to the front, decent take by Angela Move. Del Pan, set them all, good work by the Spanish Stay pack, low. testing out the Italian defence and onwards they go, good counter shove as well by Italy, who scored against the United States from Amol, it was their only try of the first 40 minutes and that was where they felt they had an advantage, taken up the middle by Marino Bravo, and then Fernandez decides to go wide, Garcia, Echeverria all the way off her wing, nice hands, Barbara Pla, Pla trying to go through, Manuela Furlan, not too many manage that Gracias. ball there for Stop Vanessa back. Real, and she just tidies it up for her scrum half. Still there for Fernandez. Flat pass to Garcia. Up the middle goes Isabella Lico. Good carry and equally good possession again. Echeverria trying to break the tackle. But watched every step of the way. Picked off the base by Ribera. Little pop pass as far as Bravo. Marina Bravo, no way through there. A good strength to keep our legs going. Lost, leave it, lost. Ball's available. Fernandez off the deck, onto it. Paula Medin looking to make up for that knock on. And she was a certain try scorer if she'd held onto it. Still there for Spain. And the Italians on the back foot and still defending. Crossfield kick meant for the chase. And Garcia's after it. Barbara Garcia and the bounce takes it into touch. It should be an Italian line out. Yeah, good option by Spain, to be honest with you, Hugh. You can see that the Italian defence are obviously blitzing, in particular in their 22. Yep. The Spanish attack are, are quite lateral. They're well able to spin the ball. They're, they're seventh, practically a seventh back line, and you can see that what they're trying to do. Good to see Barbara Flagg getting her hands on the ball earlier. But they're not really getting anywhere because, obviously, the Italian defence. So nice to just think the ball over, just keep them a little bit honest. The next time they'll question, is it going to be kicked over, is it going to be played? And that might just allow Spain to find a little bit of space. And the Italians not out of trouble yet, they have to win the line, it's gone straight to a Spanish arm and the take Fast, from Angela Del Pan was good. Pick and go now, trying to barge their way over the line. Dad, leave it, leave. Still there, another pick this time, Janina Vinueta, the tight head prop, she's held short. Spain, desperately looking for the first score of the game. The Italians determined not to let them over that line though. Really good defence so far. Leave, leave it. Spain want to be careful there, not to make a double movement. The referee had a look at it. They're only two hey, metres short, leave, not even, go. a metre and a half. And then the penalty. Yeah, yeah. It's another one That's conceded. And Lynn, you just get the feeling if the Italian discipline doesn't tighten up here, they could be looking at a card. Absolutely, you're talking about what, seven minutes and, seven minutes and 50 seconds in and they've already got three. You can see what Spain were trying to do. He obviously, they're going to keep it in the pack. Patricia Garcia was standing at 10, but she was really, really deep. So they were literally going to be Munster Rugby Route 1. Chance to go again here. Rico with the throw. Again, it's a short line out by the Spanish. Into the back line goes Maria Ribeira. That one again, doesn't find the target, comes down and did it go backwards or forwards? Referee says knock on against the captain Gonzalez and frustration really because that was prime attacking opportunity there. Absolutely, yeah. Spain are going to be disappointed with that and also Italy should take an awful lot of credit for that. Their pressure so far in the first eight minutes has been absolutely brilliant and they've got their just reserve desserts now. If Spain, Spain's scrum has been a little bit under pressure but as I said it's been against Eng England and USA which are probably packing 
a good bit of weight behind them. So it'll be interesting to see if Spain can turn this over then game on, but obviously Italy Five. will be happy to just settle it down, kick Five. it down, just to take a bit of pressure off. Six. Yeah, that USA game, the Spanish were conceding eight kilos a person plus three centimeters in height, which is an awful lot to give away per player against the USA. Yeah, certainly, certainly. And this USA team, we'll see, they're playing at the moment as well. We haven't seen an awful lot of them, but what we do see is some seriously athletic ladies in the pack, um, which I think Spain just found quite difficult to, to contend with. It's been a good start for them so far. 83% of the ball inside the Italian 22, and Spain with 86% of the possession. So it's been a dominant start for the team. Ranked fourth in Europe at the moment. And the irony being, of course, that the Italians are the ones playing in the Six Nations in Spain are not. I mean, their win record since the 2014 World Cup is pretty impressive. And in fact, of all the teams, I think it's the second best since the tournament ended last time out. But that has to be gauged by the opposition because most of them against non-Six Nations teams in Hong Kong. Yeah, absolutely. Be in your bonnet can go an awful long way. Spain are a phenomenal outfit. A lot of these players are serious campaigners for the last 10 years. They play a French style of rugby. They're probably just not as tidy as the French, but that's the way they like to play. And uh, that's what can have them competitive today. And that wasn't tidy at all from the line, was it? It's another throw that misfires against Spain and taken down by Lucia Guy. 50th cap, as I mentioned for her today, wants to have a good one to mark the occasion. Carry up the middle by Melissa Batoni, her 38th cap, the Italian leave hooker. It, Rance, leave it. And there for Baratine to try and push the Italians back into this game and get outside their own half, but that backwards. pass won't help. Referee says it went backwards, off they go. Pick off the ground was a good one by Zangor Alami. And then a little kick over the top. Foot race for this one. Back there is Fernandez. Scrum half for Italy or for Spain to rescue the ball. And they're gonna work this blind side. Echeverria tries to take on two. The Italians do get out of their own half. Can they stay here? Carried by the captain, Gonzalez for Spain. Patricia Garcia to act as scrum half. And then the big carry from Rubia, Maria Ribera. One of 11 Olympians from Rio 2016. Ribera in this 28 person Spanish squad. It's there for the back line to try and use. Big hit goes in on Del Pan. Fernandez, that was blind. Italy have to make the cover tackle, do so, and decent hit it was too by Trevisan. Another big hit on Del Pan. She's taken a few thumping tackles already, the Spanish number eight, Garcia. Look at the suck in a few defenders again. Look at the line speed for the Italians getting up so quickly and stopping the Spanish getting over that gain line. Garcia, ball in behind. Nice hands as well from Vanessa Real. Pla can only take the tackle from Beatrice Rigoni and hit the deck. Energy sapping stuff. Ball has been in play an awful lot of the first 12 minutes so far. Pass wasn't good, and that's gone into touch. Oh, unlucky for Spain. If, I suppose if we look number on number, Italy had all of their pack over on this side, and it was against the Spanish back line. They obviously chose to run it, which was technically the right thing to do, and it's a pity they, they couldn't put a little bit more pace on it because they had they had a front row and a, and a back row right in front of them. You see Barbara Plan making some nice ground. She used her feet, a sensational player. Was out for the last game because she got a knock on her head. And then just to see this ball just doesn't go to hand, unfortunately for Garcia, because she's a great little player who's just getting her first start for Spain. Much better throw that time from Melissa Batoni, and the Italians get ball off the top to work for. Into the back line, in Solari, who gave the pass beautifully. Then Rigoni, ball to the outside, Ferlan. Manuela Ferlan, kick, is this going to go too far? There's a lot on it. Should be numbers back and plaid, just boots it over the dead ball line. It should be a 22 minute drop out. Yeah, Hugh, I think Italy look quite threatening when they get their hands on the ball. We saw the try that they scored against the USA, which was really, really tasty off all the less. And you see Ferland just thinking it through. A seasoned footballer and Barbara Pla, stable as a marshal, just tries to pop it out. It takes a lot to, to put her off again. Barbara Pla injured and missed the last game, but uh, she's a really potent striking weapon for the Spanish at full back. If they can put her into space, she's one of the quickest in their sevens team. It's the Italians who have it though. Baratine, scrum half, making a nuisance of herself as she does. Straightens and gives the little pop pass to her winger Silari and then the offload again was good to Locatelli 
who couldn't stay in play. Good tackle by Barbara Garcia. Yeah, great tackle by, Bar by Garcia. Baratine most attacks come off and there's a little underhand pass there and she just nudged into touch. All credit to the Spanish defence. They're absolutely exceptional tacklers. They most certainly batted well above their weight. And again, she just goes high, she keeps her head down and just drives her legs to push her into touch. There's a lot to play for for Spain yeah, here, Lynn. I mean, they were kicked out of the Six Nations here. with it's the Italians set. coming in. Yes, and so, sure. Sure. I have to say, it was a very, seemed a very unfair move at the time. And they have something to prove here. Yeah, they have. And they have, as I said, been batting above their weight for a long, long time. The problem, unfortunately, with Spain, now their federation throw a lot of money and resource at them. They're really, really supportive of the ladies' team. It's just they tend not to play competitive sides all, an awful lot. So they probably haven't played the top eight in the world for a few years, which yeah, shows. Certainly since the World Cup. All their victories played 8-1-7 against non-Six Nations European sides or Hong Kong. So that's not the, the test you want in order to improve yourself. There's no point whitewashing teams every time you go out. Absolutely. What, what Spain have in abundance is flair, is passion, is rugby interest, etc. But it's just that game management ability that you need to play competitive teams to be able to gain. And that's something that they lack slightly. Quarter of an hour gone, still no score. Spain should be one try to the good. But just handing air from Medin, let her down at the last minute. There for Baratine, the Italians now trying to put something together here. Lovely little half break from Rigoni, and then the offload was good to Furlan. Lovely step from her, and the full back inside the Spanish 22. That's what the Italian backs are capable of. Baratine looks for runners. Crashing up the middle, Federighi on her fifth cap, the big lock forward. There for Baratine once more. Ferrari. Options both sides again for the Italian scrum half. And Rigoni calling for it all. Lovely slick pass in behind to Patoni. And she's eventually brought down. Line speed from Spain is good, but the pass in behind is even better. Zangor Alami. Zangor Alami with the switch to Solari. Thought she was going to go herself there. Baratine again, patience from the scrum half, using all of her experience here. Up they go again, Giordano. Tackle the release! Flanker. Leave it! Leave it! Tackle puts her down. Baratine once more. Little pop pass to the hooker, Bettoni. Again, Italians want to recycle that ball a little bit quicker and just use the gaps that are coming free on the outside. Taken up this time by Joffi. And she's well hit. Took one right into the ribs there. Flat pass to Lucia Guy. Baratine back to Batoni and again look at the tackle to push her back stop the momentum and keep her away from that try line Spain making life middle. difficult ball squirts at the back Baratine's in oh, trouble that's and that's Spain look like they have their hands on it brilliant turnover the and then they've lofted it forward they go back for the scrum One, two. well it's a mile and hour stuff Lynn yeah messy passage to play again just a, an eagerness more so than anything else Impressed what I've seen what Italy are doing. They're setting up some nice pods at 10. Here we see Fulan just taking an offload. And she does well not to try and give it, just to set up. Often when there's this panicky play, it's better just to take the ball into contact to allow time to reset, which they do. As I said, Italy are playing quite well. They're setting up a nice pod against 10, and they have some options off it, which is quite, which is creating some um, some problems for the Spanish. Something that we didn't see the Spanish doing when they were in the same position in the Italian 22. 50 tackles Thanks. already made by the Italians. That tells us tale of the tape so far. They've been having to work hard in defence. Spanish getting to show what they can do with ball in hand. Baratine to Rigoni. Flat pass to Zangaralami. Good clean out of the breakdown there by the Italians. Take it in by Locatelli. Batoni. Put on a back no, no. Garcia. And the counter rock, but that was illegal. And then off the side, and it's against the captain Gonzalez. So what do you do here? The ball wasn't out. Entry, and then off your feet. My fancy shot a goal in. I think so. I think it's, it's good. Place. You know, we talk about game management Place. before. Um, the Italians, what they will have gained from the Six Nations is how to manage a game. You're 18 minutes in. It's a really, really tight, contested game. There's a lot of nerves. There's a lot of jitters going around. You just want to put points on the board, board and gain your advantage. Gonzalez, you can see here again, just eagerness. She should know better. 38-year-old who came out of retirement for this uh, World Cup campaign. And she'll be disappointed with herself to give away those three points. Yeah, the captain 
just a moment of madness and it's a very kickable penalty for Michele Silari that's what faces her virtually no wind here in UCD bit of a breeze but it certainly shouldn't affect the goal kickers and this is a, a brilliant opportunity against the run of play and what we've seen for the first 19 minutes and given that uh, Spain have dominated territory and possession the first kick of the match will go to the Italians right footed strike caught it cleanly caught it beautifully splits the post and the Italians are three points to the good against Spain Right, okay, so Spain to restart on the, one, right? on the halfway line, 20 minutes gone, and they must wonder how they are behind. But if you don't take your chances, that's what happens. Yeah, I think we just see probably a little bit more of a clinical Italy, as I said. When they get into 22, you don't want to leave without any points, especially a tight game like that. So three points up to Italy, 20, mo 20 minutes in. Restart taken by Giordano. Back in the pocket is Salari, who scored that penalty, but she's frustrated with herself there. Didn't get quite a clean kick on that. This is Pool B as it stands right now. England 28-0 already against the United States of America. I have to say, I thought that would be a close game, but uh, the bonus point already secured. They look good to progress to the semi-finals. And as things stand, it's Italy who would go into that third or fifth eighth-place playoff, I should say. Fernandez fall off the top, Garcia. Up the middle goes Marina Bravo. Garcia once more. Ball back inside, Del Pan. Had a good line, but uh, the Italians had numbers across to take the tackle. Fernandez pick and go. And she stopped, picked off the ground by Ribera. She returned to her feet. Gonzalez, the captain and hooker. Leave it! Aroa. Leave it. Garcia, ball in behind, calling for this one out wide now, Medin has pace and she gives it to her winger, has even more pace, Barbara Garcia picked up and driven down to the ground, really good hit by Michele Serrari. Ribera takes the tackle, Gonzalez, Garcia, ball in behind once more, Bravo, Echeverria, Echeverria tries the handoff, Put down by Rigoni, decent tackle by the fly half. Coming up on the eighth phase now for the Spanish. Pick and go this time, Rico. Good strength by the loose head. Look at that for a run. Makes eight meters in the contact. Once more, Ribera carries. Better no, by Spain. A lot more urgency about them this time. Patricia Garcia calling for it. Ball back inside to Echeverria. Garcia. This is Pla. Pla with the ball in behind. The pass wasn't good at all. And Garcia under pressure. Picked up the ground by Vanessa Real. But it went forwards. And the pass from Barbara Pla. Just not what it should have been. Yeah, you just get the impression. Tactically, I think Spain need to force Italy to commit more to the rooks. Italy aren't committing any to the rooks. And as a result, every time that Spain look up, they just see a wall of blue. If they had some bigger ball carries, like... Isabel Rico tried there, really, really good ball carries, even two or three pick and goes. It just sucks in the Italian defence and makes it a little bit easier for Patricia Garcia to make some choice as to what happens out wide. At the moment, they are, they're just doing hands across the back and she's standing quite deep, which is making it quite hard and it's, it's just snuffling back the possession back to Italy. Find. Set. Decent shot by the Spanish in the front row, but the Italians more than able for it. Rigoni, little dummy, and then the pass meant for Solari. Eventually ends up in the hands of Manuela Furla. Baratin to Batoni. Box kick by the scrum half. It's a decent one. Pla underneath it. Leaves it though for a winger. And Barbara Garcia to her full back again. The Spanish passing, making problems for themselves. And up quickly to make that hit was Elisa Giordano. Little dummy by Del Pan. It's 
Fernandez with a pass. No, leave it! Carried off the middle by Bravo. Fernandez goes blind. Ribeira. Yeah, okay. Cool. Put in an awful lot of work so far. Let's He's held up here, though. Needs to try and get to the ground. Referee tells the tackler to let go. And Spain. Hang on. Well, it's lost. And it's lost four. Unlucky by Maria Garcia. I think she is one of their biggest ball carriers. She most certainly has the highest work rate in the team. She's one of the sevens girls as well. And obviously a workhorse in lock for Spain. Just disappointing for Spain there. They seem to be running out, running out of a couple of options. And Italy don't seem too phased by what Spain are throwing at them at the moment. And so far they've held firm on all the Spanish attacks. Bit of any Spanish supporters on that far side, just making their voices heard. Bounds. As Baratine prepares to feed the scrum. Instructions for the front row. The Chia guy on this near side against Isabel Rico. Crouch! Bind! Set! Steady! Baratine feeds, shove from Spain. Again, it's a danger popping up ball at the base though with Gaudino, who carries it into contact and tackled by Diana Gasso. Good hit by the blindside flanker. Baratine wants numbers to carry this ball. Oh, fancy a little break herself. Baratine almost got through. Fernandez had to watch her. Backwards. Again, it's another missed pass and another drop ball. This time it went backwards, though. Good steal at the breakdown there. Paula Medin getting her hands on it. And again, Patricia Garcia wasting no time. Likes to get on with it, so she does. And the pass to Del Pan. Angle at Del Pan. Keeps the ball in play back. somehow. Maria Ribera picks it off the ground. Quick thinking by Patricia Garcia and fly half for Spain. Carried by Janina Venueza. Gonzalez, ball in behind to Garcia. Decent hands, Vanessa Real to Pla. Barbara Pla opting to go herself, the pass back inside. With that illegal tackle, it could be a gap opening up. Real, the pass in behind to Gonzalez. Still there for Spain. Rico keeps it alive, Garcia. Globe trotter stuff from shot. Spain, and they're almost at the Leave line. Come, Surely the gap has to come this time. Whistle has gone. It's been held up. Five meter scrum. Excellent patches of play by Spain. Underhand passes, blind passes. Well done, them. This is Spain at their best. When things are unpredictable, when they see space, you just see Patricia Garcia. Halfbacks are making nuisance of themselves in the pan, and she keeps the ball alive. And this is the time to go wide as they spin it wide, they get the ball out to Barbara Pla. Fernandez keeps it alive again, and Isabel Rico, she just goes straight for the line. If they had have looked up at this occasion, they probably would have seen a 6 feet 3 on Spain's side, but they didn't. I don't blame you. The line is right there, you just want to go straight over, but they were just held up by a, a scramble Italian defence. I've not seen anything, OK? But we got two ARs yeah, it's got another Spanish right. attack yeah. that you just feel problem, they should have scored. But they do have another opportunity from the scrum here as we approach half an hour in the first half. The only points of the match coming from an Italian penalty. We've seen the number eight, Angela Del Pan, carry a lot of ball here. Wouldn't be surprised to see her pick off the base of the scrum here, Lynn. Yeah, yeah, certainly. Thank She's you. another one of the Olympians, yeah. the Rio yeah. stars. Okay, um, you, you, you can you can imagine that they'll keep it tight because you know at this say I did no, say this point in the, in the match and obviously off, how close to the line they'll probably keep it tight. I'm gonna come up to you, okay? Are you ha are you happy? It's penalty only. All right. Looks like we're gonna go back for a penalty. See I think it was for a high tackle, and um, just when. The Spanish were pushing towards the line. I think the tackle to prevent the try. Let's have a listen. Just teeing it up, Sarah. Yeah, no worries. 
So Kevin Beggs, the television yeah, match yeah. official. Well, there was a tackle. Yeah, it's a blue team with the gold uh, headgear. Yep, yeah, no problems. Okay, basically, thank you very much. Here it is again, Sarah. Yep, so blue 10, Tackle without the ball from Rigoni. Without the ball, yeah? That's correct. Where have you got the mark, please? Just checking. Right, no scrum, okay? Your 14 has taken, uh, your 10 has taken the 14 red out. It'll be a penalty against you, okay? Sarah, it's on the five metre line. Yep. Three metres inside the 22. Three metres in, Three okay. metres inside yep. the 22 on the five metre line. Coming but, up to it now. Thank you. Perfect. Thanks, Bexy. Well, the penalty should be on the five metre line. Tackle without the ball, 10. Three minutes inside the 22, so it's, I think just Sarah Cox misheard that, but um, they might find a shot into the corner here. It looks like they're going to run this one, Lynn. Yeah, maybe a good choice. No, 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 no. She's on the mark. Two, uh, on the mark. So, um, Problem is, it should be on the five metre line, and that almost said 22, so maybe uh, a bit of a disadvantage. Yeah, no, sorry, my mistake. So, five metres inside the 22. So, chance for Spain to go wide here. Bravo. Fernandez, drop ball by Garcia. And again, the Italian survived somehow. Yeah, the Italian survived. Yes. Just unlucky by Spain. Yep. Just a little bit of a handle there. I Come think on. it was Marina Thank you very Bravo. Much. Yeah, no worries. Unfortunate for them. They keep on going in the back door option. It's probably a good idea at this stage to probably take a couple of those short line options to try and suck in a little bit more of the Italian defence. As it stands, they're going back door the whole time there, and I think the Italians are seemingly find, find, seeming to find it a little bit easier just Jets, to, to drift and drink, tackle. Isabel Rico, 10 you. carries, 35 metres made, and three tackles as well. I mean, it's fair to say she's put in a bit of a shift Didn't so far, yeah. plus the responsibility of having to throw into the line-out. Yeah, exactly. This, this lady is, uh, yeah, she literally that. epitomises what yeah. Spain Thank are, you. and I think she had a hamstring injury and the build-up to this World no, Cup by where be, her participation was a little bit uh, doubtful. But she was delighted to get back, and she's a, a, a player you want to have on your side. Excellent ball carry, really, really passionate player, and brilliant. Delighted to have her back in the pack for Spain. Isabel Rico, Aurora Gonzalez, and Janina Vinueles for Spain in the front row. Everyone been involved in the carries throughout, but it has been a, a tale of the defensive hit so far. No tries, of course, for either team. Defences have been holding firm. Some big hits from both sides. Andrea Di Gian Domenico, the Italian coach. Well, it's been a tough tournament for them so far in terms of the lack of possession that they've had and on the end of uh, two pretty heavy defeats. The USA, maybe not so much in the scorecard, but they were second best for all of that game. Here's where the damage was done, Lynn, to Garcia. Yeah, I think she's just clutching onto her knee there. Oh, look, I think you know, the Italians in general play a beautiful style of rugby, but. The women, similar to the men's team, they just need probably a couple more years to grow into their style. They really like to throw the ball around, but they play a really nice structured game as well, where they create pods off their nines and their ten. Pods being just little clusters of options around each ball player, just to try and split okay. the defence to be able to create options on both sides. They're doing it quite well, it's just that they need to be a little bit more clinical to finish. So Elisa Cucciella comes in for a 65th cap. Front. As a replacement for Marta Ferrari's gone off injured into the front Bind. row. Set. No shortage of experience for the loose head drop. Again, Spain trying to get a shove on, it's gone round. And they get the penalty. Fernandez taps and goes. Garcia looking to move this one out wide. Bravo to Real. Chance here. Garcia. Tackled by Furlan and Solari. Well, right giving away the penalty. Stand up in the of it. Not releasing. Yeah, 
similar theme again, Hugh. I think that if I think that if they tried to just set up one or two things into the center or just create a center switch or something, it might keep the Italian defense a little bit more honest. There we see it again. Still inside, yeah. Go a bit stone on the line. Go line. Step over. So held the tackle, he must release the ball and get back on her feet and play it again. So the throw from Batoni. Awkward one, messy one. And Fernandez comes away with it. Almost half an hour played. And another Spanish penalty. On the floor. Playing the ball on the floor. Aurora Gonzalez just talking to Patricia Garcia to see what they want to do here. You going post? She's well able to kick it, Patricia it. Garcia. Yeah. Opting for the three points. Probably the wise decision. They haven't managed to get over that try line yet. Exactly. I think there's a little bit of a decision making process there between Gonzalez, Del Pan and Patricia Garcia. Obviously each team will, will make will will choose um, amongst themselves what works for them. Usually it's the kicker will dictate whether they can make the kick or not. So Patricia Garcia is most certainly a confident player and said, no, I can make this. So uh, she got the call. Yeah, she kicks for Spain on the seventh circuit, albeit their uh, drop kicks. So let's see what she's like uh, off the tee. First kick of the match. It's not the easiest one, but uh, there's no wind out there. And she certainly has the accuracy and distance to knock this one over. So this to level things up. Really good strike. Turned away as soon as she hit that one, she knew exactly where it was going. Beautiful kick, absolutely clinical kick, gorgeous kick. So far, well there's done. a lot of penalties Three against Spain you. Italy. Okay. Just come down. Well, the penalty count so far is 8-2 against the Italians. Down, okay? It's an area Change. they're going to have to watch. I just heard Sarah Cox have a, re a word there with uh, Sarah Baratine and warn the Italians to keep the discipline. Yeah, 100%. And, you know, they actually have been quite a low, had a, have had a low penalty count for the whole of the tournament. But I think this, may, this game means an awful lot to them. So we're just seeing the tempers flare a little bit. Restarts. Only as far... That's Van Nysa for Spain. Fernandez, all back to Garcia. Taken back inside the 22, she can't go straight out. Kicks it down the middle. Furlan leaves it. And then the full back gets her hands on the ball. I've seen a huge amount of her. Dangerous strike runner though. Up the middle goes Kujiela. Fedrigi. Baratin. Rigoni. Any room on the inside for Zangaralami. Nice run. Tackled by Echeverria. Eventually put down. Use it! Baratine looking for her options. Spanish tackling so far pretty good. Rigoni. Cucciella the substitute. Offload again in the tackle. And that's lovely hands by the Italians as Lucia Guy carries it. No, leave it, Lorenzo, leave it. Rigoni. Little grubber kick through. That's gone out in the full. And. She's annoyed with that, just got too much on it. Yeah, and lucky by Italy, you can see the frustration. Definitely wasn't the right time to, to go for that kick. They were losing a little bit of structure, but they just needed to set it up again and, and just to regain a little bit of structure. Good defence by Spain on that occasion. So Rico to throw. 
Playing with numbers out in the back line once more. Del Tan the target. Ball off the top to use. Garcia, flat line up the middle. Ribera. And then they switch tack and come on this left hand side. Barbara Platt. Trying to go through. Barbara Platt does go through, gets the hands. Thought about the offload and then hanging on for dear life as the Italian open side Giordano. Good run by the full back though. They're lost! Fernandez looking for a quick ball. Garcia. Ball in behind. Better play from Spain. Hands out wide from Medin. Rigoni makes the tackle. Echeverria gets her hands on it. Counter up by the Italians. Just makes life awkward. Fernandez trying to skip through. Good run by the Spanish scrum half. A stolen fast man. Again, Always had the it. Italians making life difficult and get their hands on the no, ball. Spain told to leave it, and they didn't do so. When you came round, the ball wasn't out, OK? Entry. Unlucky by Spain. That was a really, really nice passage of play. Really, really enjoyable passage of the play. Spain are starting to find some holes. Barbara Plough, we could see, found a little bit of space over here on the far right. Itzi Barria, who was probably my man of the match in the, in the first game against England, but it was given to an English player for obvious reasons. They're starting to get their hands on the ball and find some space. Here we see Barbara Plough just take, I think it was the prop on the outside, lovely leg drive, nice recycle, that's the key. And then just whipped away by Fernandez. Still waiting for the first try. The Italians find touch and the line in on that far side with five minutes to go in the first half. Lovely hands and a take from Giordano off the top of that line out. Little top pass is flat. Referee happy to let play continue. Over the game and goes Lucia Guy. Good strength but a tight head. Palatine, no room for her to go. Back on her feet though. It's good strength for the scrum half. And almost over the halfway line now. Baratine back on her feet. Rigoni calling for it. Four outsider. Wait. Baratine once more. Hands, was that okay? Pass from Zangar Alami. Sarah Cox says play on. This is the tight head, Lucia Guy. Yes, Spain, move! Move! Ball's available. Rigoni with the pass. Trevisan smashing the tackle. Really good hit by Diana Gasso. Drove her back as Baratine breaks the blind side. Oh, see, let go! Let go, Red! Let go! Spain told to leave it. That's why it's Orca coming back. That should be a penalty. It is a penalty. Clear instructions to Sarah Cox and. Spain just not listening. Yeah, no, she, Sarah Cox is in the game very, very well. I think I think it was selective here, and to be honest with you, on that occasion. But again, we see Baratine is the initiator of a lot of Italian attack, and she's doing a great, great job in her, in her, in her signature long shorts that she likes to wear. And she's just finding space in nice and close to the rock each time, which has got Italy to where they are at the moment. So they're, Going to set up a nice platform here. Their, their line-out stats compared to the Spanish line-out stats are better. So I'd expect them to secure this ball and set themselves up with a good platform. So here we come with the throw. Full line-out called. And Rigoni and Zangor Alami standing pretty flat out wide, so the pack are going to have a go here. This line and ball carrier! This line and ball the United carrier. States of America in their opening game. Mole. So they know exactly how to get the job done. But Tony with the ball at the back. Stand your feet, Red! Stand your feet! Giordano. Giordano has it now, trying to keep that mole going forward, and then the counter drive One. from Spain. They get a shout to use it if it stops again. On they go. They regroup and find a soft spot. That's good work by the pack. Well inside the Spanish 22 now. No. 90 seconds before the half-time whistle. Carried by Guy. Bitoni. Stolen! Spain get their hands on it. Stolen is the cry from Sarah Hold Cox. In. And once again, and on Spanish defence holds out. Oh, and lucky by Italy. They did so well to secure that line out and just set up a nice small. Spain just got amongst it and just bit by bit ripped them apart nice and cleverly. And then when they 
broke off to the right hand side they took the ball into contact didn't have enough support and a very very clever little rob by spain here we see i think ball going into contact spain just gets right over and i can't see exactly who that player is del pan i think del pan yeah. wow sensational Tomo. rob Tomo. blood super steel by the number eight Tomo. Tomo. blood and looks like we've got a bit of a, a blood injury to one of the Italian players, so time will be off inside the last minute of the first half. I mean, one penalty each, you, no try yeah. so far. Blood. As the Chia guy gets a bit of attention, but uh, your impressions and your thoughts of the first 40 minutes so far, then? Yeah, I think I think Spain will go in at half time probably a little bit more disappointed than the Italians. The Italians have been down in the Spanish 22 twice. They've come away one score. They'd be disappointed in particular at the time, but that's on the clock not to come away with another score before half time. The Spanish have had more opportunities, have not come away with points. They'll probably go in a little bit more disappointed, but plenty of balls to be played. Game on. Yeah. Yeah, nothing to separate them. Line out on the far side. Rico to throw in so Pan used as a decoy up goes Paola Medin Mol. Spain start them all over the 10 metre line now get out get out good work by the pack back with Rico the thrower she takes it on and then leaves it for Fernandez it's really good work by Spain Inside the Italian half now, Garcia. Runners, decoy runner was Barbara Pla. Looking for the switch with a winger, maybe wasn't quite on the same wavelength. They're lost, lost. Barbara Garcia. Runners here if they want it. And a little off out was good to Ribera. Pass from Garcia to Ribera. And there for Patricia Garcia. Again, little step from her. Tackled by Guy. Lost. Last play of the first half, little step off the inside there from Marina Bravo. Staying on her feet and then eventually leave brought down. Lean out! Lean out! Garcia, little kick over the top. Uh, this should be comfortable for Solari. It is. She calls the mark. Kicks for touch, and there is the half-time whistle, so... Well, this has been a battle, as we thought it might, with uh, so much on the line here, and uh, two teams with a lot of history before kickoff in this match. But the half-time whistle has gone. We've had one penalty for either side, which means it's Italy three, Spain three, at the break in UCD Bowl. 40 minutes to go here. It's a tough one to call. Who's going to win this one? It is a tough one to call. I think Spain, again, I, like we said before the half, they'll be more disappointed with their performance. They've had more possession. They've made more line breaks. They just haven't converted them into points at all. So uh, we'll just see. I'd imagine that they're just going to try and kick the ball down the pitch, get there a little bit closer so that they can get some more points on the board. First take by Echeverria, almost at the 22-meter line. And Fernandez often just to line up some runners and bring play infield, which will give uh, Patricia Garcia a better angle to kick from her 22, but she's had a little snipe herself, as she is prone to do. And now Spain are going to have to run this one okay, let's or line that. somebody else up to kick it out from their own 22-meter line. Pick and go from the big second row. Garcia. Inside. Zala's back in the pocket, and... Kick from the knee, Marina Bravo. Only as far as Sofia Stefan. Bad team. To the substitute, Alisa Cucciello came into the front row in place of Marta Ferrari. Went off in the first half to lose head. Rigoni. Nice pass to Zangalami. Here's Manuela Furlan. And she comes back in field. And takes the tackle. Bad team. Looks like there's an injury as well to Zangalami. As play continues down that far side, Silari, Silari still going, gets the pass almost to hand. By, by Red. On her shoulder was Melissa Bettoni. Just couldn't find her teammate at a crucial stage. And it did go One forward. So it'll be a scrum to the Italians. Tom, thank you, Rose. 
unlucky. Some really lovely hands by the Italians. Again, like they scored the last try against the USA. Just off that left hand, initiated by Bartoni again. And I think it was just one of the Spanish hands. I think it was Fernandez. They're just getting a little bit of a hand with the cause to knock on. Well, Zangir Lamy, her 74th cap, the inside centre. She's retiring yeah. after this World Cup. But she's not prepared to retire from this one just yet. Back on her feet, great to see. This might give you a little bit of insight into my own mentality here, but if you see you're off the number, you're 12 going down. And we see Spain, we, we kind of criticise them slightly for going wide too often. This is when you start to target your centres. If you had a limp or a lame centre at all, you just want to throw the ball into her. Hopefully you'll find a little bit of space and then Time Spain on. will find a little bit of space and attack. That's my reset? colleague, ruthless yes. Cantwell, preying on the ball. vulnerable and the injured. So just reset. <laughs> Love it. Well, Time's gone back on. on. Okay. Tactic. <laughs> <laughs> That's the name for it, huh? So, pressure here on the Spanish. Crouch! Bind! Valentin getting ready to feed. It's confirmation of the change at uh, half time. Give her the gap. Okay. comes in. And uh, it's Barbara Garcia, the winger, who's gone off. Crouch! Bind! Set! Being, of course, one of the seventh players in the squad. Tony's trying to get a shove on here. That's not bad. Use it! Cucciella. The total lead. Use it now. And here's a chance to break. Rigoni dropped it at a crucial stage. It's another handling mistake. Oh, really unlucky by Italy. It was a lovely, stable platform by Italy. And she, she just fed the flat pass, which is the right thing to do at this stage because it then inhibits the seven from coming across to make the tackle. But she just could not hold on to it. She overran an over eagerness and just went forward. Your shoulder comes out, okay? You make sure you find the headspace, okay? Just step back a second. Italian scrum looks a lot better since uh, Elisa Cucciere has come into it, so let's see if they can do some damage here. Crouch! She's up against Vanessa. Elisa. I'm sure Spain just want to get rid of this one as quickly as they can. Pressure again. Taken off the back by Angela Del Tan. Gives the pass to Bravo. And then back inside to her open side, Paola Medin. Outside the 22, nice move by the back row. Linking up well. Gonzalez, the captain. Ball almost ripped from her hand. Did it go forward? It did. Ah, uh, Hugh, you just get the impression that Spain shouldn't be playing the ball in this part of the field at all. They had a lovely, lovely platform. They were offloading it out of the tackle, just outside, literally, their own 22. And you, there was lots of premium mistake back here. You just get the impression that they just needed to boot it down there as far as they possibly can to play in a better part of the pitch. Yeah, some nice link-up play originally, and then, as you say, just maybe taking the wrong options, running straight into contact. Crunch. The Italians have it now inside the Spanish half. Bind! Better team with options. Six. They're all standing on the right-hand side. Okay. Sofia Stefan has come off for a wing. They're going to work the blind side. Better team. Now it's one-on-one -on -one with Echeverria. Better team against Echeverria. Trying to pump through. She had a support runner in Stefan on her shoulder. Have the advantage is there for holding on. Not releasing on the ground. There will be... A penalty to Spain, another Hold chance in, goes back. And playing on the floor. Unlucky by Baratine, she saw the opportunity to go herself on the blind. Itibarea made a really, really good tackle. She probably could hit her a little bit sooner, but she had to just soak up a little bit more. Baratine just recognised that she was on her own and she decided to pick and go herself, but it was deemed a penalty by Sarah Cox. 
possession back into Spain. So Patricia Garcia finds touch and it'll be a, a Spanish throw in. If you want to get involved, hashtag WRWC 2017 Women's Rugby World Cup 2017. Hashtag bring it and let us know what you think. Semi-final picture will be a lot clearer by the end of play today. Neither of these sides, unfortunately, will make the last four. Clean ball from the line out taken by Paula Medin. Spain set them all, that's Spain better. Low. And away they come. Italians have to regroup here. Taken up by Gasso. There for Fernandez. Beats Bravo. She makes a couple of meters. Garcia. Pass on the outside from Real to Barbara Pla. Had to pick it up off the ground. It's not ideal. Just allows the Italian defenders to come across. Another big thumping tackle from Michela Celari. Score of the three points for Italy from a penalty in the first half. Garcia. Little step inside, looking for the offload. Gets it away. She's a handful. Got to watch her in that 10 12 channel. Patricia Garcia. Taken up by Rico. Pick off the back from. Rocchio Garcia, and still there for Spain to use. Real hits the deck. There they go. Fernandez. Fernandez and then to Garcia. Fernandez with the pass to Echeverria. Needs a bit of help. Can she get it away? She's done so on the right side. Lovely play by Spain. Chance for Barbara Pla. She couldn't hang on to it. The pass was over her shoulder. What a moment that was, and still there for Spain, Del Pan. Lovely break to start it off, and Barbara Pla, she would have been in for the try if she caught that ball. Bravo. Ball back inside, did that go forward? It did. It'll be a scrum to Italy, and once again, handling at a critical stage, Lynn Cantwell letting them down. Absolutely, but what about Fernandez? She spots a gap and she's lightning quick. She's gone herself. She looks deceptively like Patricia Garcia herself. Oh, absolute fabulous acceleration. Itchabaria does really, really well support. A blind pass. Offload then. Keeps it alive. Fabulous pass. And then just goes behind Barbara Pla as well. Oh, really, really disappointing. I can't help thinking it'll be really hard to stop Barbara Pla. 20 metres out against... The Italian defense. I think it was 1v1 there, if anything. Well, England leading 47 19 against Five. the United States, but uh, USA Boys. with three tries in response 15 10. Set. England with three bonus point wins as it stands and will comfortably go through to the semi finals. That one not over yet, though. And the scrum wheeling around. Palatine gets it away with a goalie. Trying to stay on her feet. Good work by the fly half. And then support from her scrum half. Cucciella with the pass to Furlan. Takes two to bring down Isabella Locatelli. And her 14 cap the blind side. Little dink and chase over the top now. Where's this going to bounce? Sesha Buria read it and she read it pretty well. Nice feet to get away from the first and gets the offload. Slips it away to Venueza. The tight head drop isn't the quickest, but she's got plenty of strength to barrel away towards that 22. Rico there for Spain. Fernandez to Garcia. This is Bravo to Real, Vanessa Real trying to go through the gap and the offload is good, Fernandez, Fernandez for Spain! We have the game's first try! Brilliant try for Fernandez. You see the little dink over here by Italy that was gathered well. By Itibaria, she uses her feet just to create a platform and offloads it to Vinic. Fabulous direct route 
and then the first time that Spain come back on the inside, like we said, they just offload from Real to Fernandez. She uses her feet all the way to the line. And you couldn't help thinking that's a really, really well worked try by Spain. And I'm sure that they're going to pop that over for a converted try to hopefully bring Spain up to 10 3. Shouldn't be a problem for Patricia Garcia. Almost directly in front of the post. And this for a seven point gap. Interesting, the Italian's not putting any pressure on her. So she's got a free shot at goal. Flags go up. Ten points to three. Fernandez with the try. Garcia with the conversion. Almost identical twins, nine and ten for Spain, and they lead ten points to three. Absolutely. Whether it's Kathy and Tablet's parade or just a good chalk from your coach, whatever. Fernandez did a half time as work. She's come out with a fire in her belly. Lovely run. Escheberia starting things off with the offload and then the carry from Janina Benueza, the tight head prop. Presence of mind to go wide after that and the offload back inside to the scrum half. Perfect support line, wonderful try and the Italians playing catch up for the first time in this game. It's the first time they have fallen behind. Ribera takes the restart. The try score to a captain, the handoff from Gonzalez. Outside. And then the Gary Owen launched by Patricia Garcia. Watched and watched well by Stefan. Now leave the red. Pressure coming through from the Spanish pack as Cuchiella goes over the halfway line. Patatine a little bit slow to get back to it. There for Rigoni. Carried up the middle by Lucatelli. She stopped in her tracks. Good hit. Cuchiella once more. Not interested in the power. Lovely offload there. Then they go wide to Giordano. Giordano tackled by Ribera. Rigoni looking for space out there. Patoni with the little okay, flick and then back to her number eight, Gaudino. Italians. Just keeping that ball, testing out the Spanish defence. Carry up the middle. Cucciella once more. It's had a good shift and she's come in from Ferrari. Rigoni. Now they're going to go wide. The pass was meant for Chioffi. But it went in behind her. Rigoni leaves it. Then a little offload. Chioffi, better support line and better lines of attack. It's Gaudino, they're going to pass back inside to Riccone, Riccone for Italy, almost at the line, what a try! Beautiful pass from Locatelli, back inside to Riccone, and the little fly half crashes over to strike back for the Italians. The most threatening time for any team is the five minutes after they've scored. Just a lovely offloading game by Rigoni. Hand off, back inside. She saw where the line is and she wasn't going to be stopped. Reach, lovely try. She hasn't made it any easier for Solari for the conversion. Really, really well taken. Barbara Plavi so disappointed with herself for missing that tackle. Okay. Kept the ball alive. Back outside of Chibaria. And then big old reach for the line. Yeah, no worries. Time's off anyway. So Rigoni who started on the bench in the opening game with uh, Ski Avon picked it fly half. Yeah. Okay. Let's have a look here and see what the team I was looking at. Kevin Banks is checking something from the previous block. Yeah, no worries, thank you. So looking yeah. to see if the ball was played off the ground. That's what Kevin Banks okay. is looking at. 
So let's have a look at this rock. See, was there anything that happened here? Solari. Here it is now. Solari coming in from the side there, and she is back on her feet and then plays the ball. Was she in ball. front of the. Basically, can you, can you show us the previous angle, please? I will. That's what they're looking at, Lynn, is it? Yeah, I think it seems like she's in the rook already. Yeah. She reaches back, grabs the ball, which is which is illegal. Right. Okay, those two angles are the best angles, Sarah. Yeah. Okay, just show us the previous angle before that. I'll show you the, this, yep, there you this go. angle as well. Yep, here we go. So if you're deemed to be in the rook, you can't pick up from the base because you're offside. And I think that's what she's they're looking at here. You, she's not the back man of the rook. Yeah, but see, are you, are you asking me that she's not the back man at the, at the ruck? I'm saying she has both feet in front of the ball and reaches back to pick the ball up. Right, OK. So per, no try. And we go penalty from where, where uh, the incident was. That's correct. Right, OK. So good where, where spot have you got the I'm just checking the mark. It's a good spot. Obviously, this is the first World Cup that we have, Hawkeye Hugh, and these things are going to be picked up. There's probably a couple of things that have been missed previously in the tournament, Five but a referee inside, or so if any day or a spot that then. No try. Okay. She's offside. Your player is offside. No substitutions now, please. Your player is offside. Yes, when she picks the ball up, okay? Understand? Hang on. Right. Take a step over there. We're having English problems, okay? I'm sorry, I was just explaining what happened. So when, when your player has picked the ball up, okay, both feet are in front of the ball, therefore she is offside, okay? Do you want to translate? No, no, I'll cut this. Okay? Okay, Bexie, where's the mark, please? So, Sarah Bantine understands. Offside, okay. We'll have to live with that. And I'm just getting no the mark from the TMO, okay? Decision. So she says. Really unfortunate for Italy. Baratti right. knew exactly. She plays. She played the so last here. year with Aylesford right. Bulls in, My uh, in England, here. so she She'd knew exactly back. what she was saying. Okay. I'd imagine they're just more step disappointed back. and trying to just swallow that news. Offside. Relief for Spain then, and disappointment for the Italians. But a long way to go in this one. 25 minutes plus until the final whistle. So plenty of time to come back in. And that was just a. An example of what the Italians were capable of. Absolutely. They say, what do they say from the penthouse to the outhouse? Absolutely. Baratine takes the kick. Spain unable to find touch. They'll be disappointed with that themselves. It was an opportunity to just uh, stagnate the Italian attack and break the momentum. There for Rigoni. A little pop was meant for Locatelli, who lost her footing. And then the pick and go from the fly half. Cross from Gonzalez to make the tackle. Baratine again, surveying her options left and right. So we're looking to the rock. Coming through the gate, you're allowed to do that. The Italians are away to the danger, and they manage to recover. Pick and go. This time, Gaudino, the number eight for Italy. Gattoni. Ball in behind, Rigoni, a oh, little break from her, the offload back inside. Dangerous one came off the referee. Hang on, that's me, it's hit me. Okay, so it'll be scrum, blue ball. Thank you. Italy get the scrum. Oh, just a nervy couple of minutes there for both teams. Obviously, Spain had their tails up after they scored an absolutely magnificent try. Italy have come back to score a try, but then for it to be disallowed. And now both teams are just trying to find their feet, trying to manage their emotions. The up and down of the game, really important for them to settle and both teams to just get back on track. Oh, excuse, sorry. Yeah, yeah, no problems. Right, two seconds. I've got to get my comms fixed as well. <laughs> Time off. So just uh, a bit of attention. They're coming now, lads. On the mic for You can, take, you can put Cox. the uh, subs on. Subs on played 12 times these yeah. teams Spain lead 9-3 but Italy have won two of the last three That's meetings right. yeah. both of those are 2012 
So Valentina Ruzza comes in in place of Alice Trevisan for the Italians. And Valentina, another member of the Rio 2016 Olympic squad and former sevens player, well, still sevens player, comes on as well into the back line. A few Ninja Turtles in here. As we look at Jose Antonio Barrio, the anvil as he's known. And the Italians will put the put into the scrum. Looks like Sarah Cox is okay to continue. Turn back on. You'd hope that the Italians spot Stand that up. and where the Spanish defenders are lining up. Spanish defenders are left out, okay. three and left nice two on right. So I'd hope that the Italians will attack left. Good. Crouch. Bind. Set. Decent strike by Bettoni, the Italian hooker, all lining up on this near side. Here's the substitute, Madia. Rigoni tackled by Garcia. Our team with the top pass. Still there for the Italians. Madia once more to Rigoni. Again, drops the shoulder anywhere she goes. Patricia Garcia follows. Taken up this time. By Lucia Guy. Petoni. Nice offload to Gaudino. Fedrighi. Options both sides again for Baratin. Looks for Ligoni. Madia tries a little dummy. She's been alive. Where was that tackle high? high it certainly tackle. looked high from here. An advantage is being played to Italy. It's a shot to nothing here, and he might as well go for it. Baratin, Rigoni once more, 9-10 combination, so familiar with each other. Calling for this one, Cucciella, still playing advantage. The advantage is still there. Madia. Do you want it? Penalty? No, no. So see penalty how originally Italy. it was over here. Yeah, clever decision by Baratin. She knew that they weren't advancing. She knew Italy weren't doing anything with the ball. Given the advantage, you want to just kick that down, get a little bit closer to the line, set up for a line out. That's where they're strong in that mall. The closer she can get to that try line, the better. It's gone inside the 22, so chance here for Italy to try and use their forward muscle. Yeah, absolutely. Madia, one of the Italian, the Italian subs that have come on, she's, her right leg is heavily strapped, but she's made a huge impact since she's come on, so it'd be interesting to see what they set up in their back line to attack off this Italian platform. Spain! Spain! Short line out called by the Italians. Just see Locatelli coming into the back line. What are they going to do from this? Need to win the ball first and foremost. It went backwards under a bit of pressure. The interception on a plate. Maria Casado read that one. And then offside against the Italians, so they get the penalty. She must come back round. From attack to defence in the space of 10 seconds. Up the line they go. There was the intercept to Casado, only just <laughs> off the bench. Yeah, really, really good impact sub play. And then you just see Marina Bravo go up to her afterwards and pat her on the back to say, well done. They need absolutely every effort and every form of encouragement to keep this momentum going for the Spanish side. Casado takes the line out. Then away comes Rico. Spin advantage, lock on on the floor. Fernandez with the feeds, and on they go. Advantage over. Good carry by Rivera. There for Fernandez once more. Garcia, two outsider. Bravo to Real. Little pass in behind. It's nice, and Barbara Platt calling for it, but she's not going to get her hands on it. Still there for Spain. Gonzalez, two for Trisha Garcia. Little 
the dummy switch by the scrum half. Well, Marshall though almost into touch and did well just to stay. Still in, still in. Inside the touchline. 19 minutes to play, the gap is seven. Next score, crucial, you feel. Garcia, lovely feats to get past one, then two. Still there. Spain go right. Gasso. Wrapped up in the tackle, and then they manages to shirk off the first challenge of Sofia Stefan. Taken into contact by Rivera. There for Fernandez. Now Garcia. Lining up on the outside, Vanessa Real tried the dummy, tackled by Madia, and then through the legs to keep it alive, ball on the outside. <laughs> Angela Del Pan. Fernandez to Garcia, flat pass as well to Rico. Rico hit hard at the tackle. And a decent one too by Baratti. Still there for Garcia. Garcia with a flat pass to Gasso. <laughs> this is gone. Knock on, on the floor. Knock on, on the ground and a scrum twiddle. Unlucky by Spain. Some really good passages of play. I think it got up to 10, 11, 12 phases. And then just a little knock on on the ground. Some lovely, just a little flick pass even over in the further corner. And both teams kind of off on their feet, tired. The last two games maybe catching up on them at this stage, 62 minutes in. When you've got two teams that have made, made right, over yeah, 700, yeah. 750 tackles between the two teams, well, so. that's going to start showing slightly. So I think they'll be delighted with this little bit of a break. Well, dramatic news over in the other match in Pool B. So United States getting the bonus point with the last play of the game. Kristen Thomas scored the first try for them against the Italians here on match day one. She could well have done enough to push her team into the semi-final. England okay. cruised through with the victory. We'll have to wait and see. I know the result. Oh, here we see just the flick. Under hand, under, under leg flick, and then just skipped to the outside to Rabina who just come on. Really nice, really nice silky skills by Spain. Crouch! Bind! Set! Good shot by the Italian front row, and a decent scrum for them as well. Of the base to use, but she had to keep her eye on that one. And the loose head did well. Caratine just asking for options there, and another hard carry by the pack and our hooker, Melissa Petoni. Dragoni standing Wait. deep in the pocket here, it'll be carried back inside the 22. She can't go Second straight back. out with this one. Awkward angle to make the kick for herself with that right foot. Echebrilli underneath it has Pla inside her. Here is Barbara Pla. And Akumi up on the outside, now chance here, Bravo, Bravo on the outside to Real, Real keeps it alive, and Bonaldo hits the ground. Still there for Spain, Fernandez in behind, Medin, Medin gets the pass on the outside, Echeverria, Echeverria with one to beat, still going, Echeverria for Spain, the winger! Just down and a brilliant finish for Spain's second try. So delighted for this lady. As I said, she's had an absolutely stonking World Cup so far, but just hasn't been able to get herself over the line because of the defence that she's been up against with England and USA. Really great try by her. She had a lot of work to do. Here we see the first passage of play ignited by Barbara Platt. Bravo. And then Urbina, who's just a substitute, who's come on, she recycles well, gets the offload to Itibaria. She has lots of work to do, but she just makes it life a little bit easier for Vegeta Garcia for the conversion, which you'd imagine she'll knock over to get a seven points for that try. So conversion from underneath the post, then 15 minutes to play. 
This would make it a 14-point game. Hasn't missed one yet, Patricia Garcia. 100% and two from two. Eshaburia with the try, and they look pretty comfortable now. Absolutely, we just see our, the game line success flashing up on our screen. 84 to Spain and 47 to Italy. And most certainly, Spain have the advantage. They're making more progress going forward, but obviously it's about trying to convert it. Now they're starting to convert that possession into points, and it sees them 17, three points ahead. 14 minutes to play. What have the Italians got left in the tank? Rico carries. Outside. Garcia, little break. And a pass to the try scorer. Eshaburia trying to go on the outside again. It's still going. Eshaburia back to Garcia. Was that pass okay? Referee says play on. Paula Medin is going to back herself for the corner. Back inside to Gasol. Furlan came across just to. Stopper, and then Spain go left and wide. Real, Vanessa Real, back to Bravo. <laughs> Lovely counter attack <laughs> by the Spanish, and they're almost at the try line. Pick and go by Gonzalez, the captain, and the offload. Marina Bravo crashes over for Spain. Try number three. We had none in the first half. We've had three since the restart, and it's all Spain. Well done, Spain. It just seems like their World Cup has only just started. The type of rugby that we know that they can play, they're starting to produce now. All started from Jessica Garcia, Itchaburia using her feet to keep the ball alive. This is all of the Olympians here, to keeping the ball alive into Midan. And then Patricia Garcia, she recycles nice and quick so that she's from half. Rico spots the opportunity to go straight ahead, gets him a little bit closer to the line. Gonzalez nearly loses it and then just off the loads to Marina Bravo to go over for the try. Marina Bravo will be delighted to get this try. She was injured all last year. She probably has been growing into the World Cup herself because she hasn't had an awful lot of competitive game behind her. So she'd be delighted to get that try in the left hand corner for Spain. This to keep the 100% kicking record intact then. One penalty, two conversions so far. This is the toughest kick of the day, though, by some distance. Wouldn't back against her, nailing it, though. That one's going to go to the right-hand side and wide. Not a clean strike, it doesn't matter. 22 points to three. It seems like a mile for the Italians now, and a marathon to climb, or I should say a mountain to climb. Turn off. 13. Oh, 13. She did well to get that over. She would not have been pleased with, pleased with herself if she had to knock that on. Oh, it's difficult for Italy, Hugh. You just see that they came back, they scored that try that was disallowed after the first try in the second half by Spain. They haven't been back in the Spanish half at all since that time, and Spain have come away with two tries. So substitution. Berta Garcia comes in for Spain and plays for Paula Mendit, who had a big hand in that try. And then Veronica Schiavon, her 81st cap, she played in the World Cup of 2002, is in in place of Maria Chioffi into the Italian back line. Spain, as Lynn said, look like they're only starting to warm up now. Carry from Isabel Rico. Shabria exploded into life in the second half. She didn't get a huge amount of ball in the first, but here is Berta Garcia. Substitute just off the bench. Gonzalez. Bravo. Del Pan. Father Plan her shoulder. Just couldn't get the pass away. Fernandez. 
Garcia. Tell Pan. Hit an offload and a slip pass to Barbara Platt. The fullback goes to ground. The Tony makes the tackle. Thank you. Bravo. She's with Reza. Bravo back on her feet, looking for the offload. It's all passes that weren't sticking in the first half now are really going to hand for Spain and they're making it look easy. Vanessa Real with a looping ball out to Patricia Garcia. Dummy the kick and then back on her feet, letting go and the offload out the back door for Esha Baria. Takes the tackle. Fernandez. Rico. Over the halfway line. Good work by the prop. She wasn't held. Could have got back up and then lets it go for Maria Ribera. Bravo once more. Berta Garcia. Back inside to Gasso. Not an advantage. And then it went forward. So advantage being played as Balatine picks it off the ground. No advantage. Go back to the scrum. Yeah, just think the Italians just need to try and shift the momentum back on their half. If they could try and potentially increase their line speed on defence, that will just take the sting out of the Spanish attack. Substitution for Spain. So Laura Delgado comes in in place of uh, Janina Vinueza. Another substitution for Spain. A better half for Jose Antonio Barrio. The Spanish coach much more happy with what he's seen in the second 40 minutes. Scrum to Italy, Crunch. and it will be Balatine to feed Fight. inside the last uh, nine minutes or so. Set! Paul squirts at the back. Chance for the Italians to move it at the back line here. Rigoni goes wide. Nice flat pass, an inviting ball as well for a winger to run onto Stefan. Takes the tackle by Echeverria. Spain still competing at uh, the breakdown. No, leave it now, Spain, just leave it. Skiavon with the pass off the deck. Valentin. To Madia. Skiavon once more. Ferland runs onto it. Lovely hole opening up for the fullback. She got loads of faces. She backs herself in the corner. Black couldn't put her down. Manuela Ferland, we haven't seen enough of that from the Italians, to be honest with you. And then Spain, little knock on for the Italians, an advantage being played for the team in red. Whistle has gone. But what a break was that was. Pressure. There was no advantage from the knock on. Okay. Oh, and lucky by Italy, Ferland had an absolutely lovely little run there down the right hand side of the pitch. And I think she had the better of Barbara Platt. But again, it's not about the break that you make, it's obviously yep. it's about Heidi, how tidy that you make the ruck and being able to recycle Number and capitalise on that forward momentum. Eight. Unfortunately, on this occasion, they lost the ball knock on in the ruck Number and it's five. back on Spain's ball. Michela Este and Sara Tunese are going to come in. Sara Tunese made her debut against the United States of America. And Gaudino comes off, as does Trevisan, the second row for Italy. <laughs> Seven Italy. minutes Italy. left to play. Here we go, here we go. Bye. Bye. So Anna Fernandez to feed, taken off the back by Del Pan, and across the pitch she runs. Pass wasn't good, pressure now straight away comes Vanessa Real, gets a scooping one away. Could be a five meter scrum if this goes to ground, it should be, and it will Take be. Back over. And we'll set ourselves for a five meter scrum. I'll ask you, Lynn Cantwell, for your Aon player of the match, please. There was a couple of people that put their hand up for player of the match. Obviously, Fernandez at nine, fabulous, and she initiated that second try with her little break, but hard to overlook for Jessica Garcia at 10. Obviously, her little snipey runs herself too, kicking 
Spain into better field position and initiating a lot of backline attack. So player of the match, number 10 for Spain, Patricia Catia. Well deserved. Crouch. She's gonna have to defend here though. Bind. Scrub to Italy, bad with the ball. Why is it when I stand over here, there's an issue? Okay? Sort it out, please, both of you, sort it out. Okay? Re reset, please. Couple of new front row forwards in. Shoulder out so she has head space. Not on her head. Crouch. Bind. Set. Mikel Aste into the back row as you can see on that near side. Here's the feed. That's a better scrub. And it looks like they're going to work the blind side here. Back into the scrum half. And a team for the line. <laughs> Try for Italy. Lovely try from Italy, came off a really nice structured, stable platform in the Italian scrum. Again, that flat pass which we saw them try to do earlier on the game. Lovely flat pass. And then it was between herself and Ichibaria. Just a little bit of footwork and just got Eleven. around the outside. Nice try. The 14 Larry just stood in the channel just to create a little bit of a decoy. Lovely try for Spain, but made the conversion a little bit difficult. Conversion attempt from Solari, just goes to the left and wide. Another substitution. Yeah, Arena is going to come in for Isabel Rico. Inside the last five minutes now. And she has to go off. 14 points the gap. Marina comes in, Rico goes off, a monster shift by her, carries, tackles, scrums, line outs, you name it, she's done it. Yeah, absolutely, excellent player as we spoke about her before. Five minutes ago, you think it's probably a little bit too difficult for Italy to come back from this now, but obviously important to get everybody on the pitch too, and to save a little bit of legs for the semis. Valentina Russa takes the restart, first touch of the ball for her. And then Michele Este, fellow substitute, loses that one, but it went backwards. So Sarah Clark will play on. There she is again, Urusa, imposing figure. Taken up by Este. You're on your, you're on your knees. You must be on your feet. Partini indicating that uh, she wants to give on to kick this one up the line. Running out of time here, and the two converted tries just to tie it up. So, that's more in the next Italy minute or so. 13, Maria Grazia Sioffi, replaced by number 21, Veronica Schiavon. Here. Yeah. Line out to Italy on the far side of the pitch. Referee just asking for the gap to be kept. Move. Move. Goes to the back of the line, a ball off the top. A little bit awkward though. Spanish defense seemed to read that one batter team. Look, we just hold on. No, I just only have to be hard in the tackle, and then Rigoni calling for Carried up the middle by Adagenti. United States, 26. Rigoni. Nice hands. Furlan. Manuela Furlan. Trying a little switch. Tackle was made by Vanessa Real, and it came off her into touch. Should be an Italian throw. Okay, we'll have a look here again. Okay. Cool, I know. It is Thank an Italian throw. Came off Real. Yeah, just disappointing for no, Ferland. You know, I've seen okay. her getting her hands on the ball a couple of times in this last 10 minutes. She's an exceptional player and she can make some serious damage out, out wide in um, in defences. But just. And then she gets her hands on the ball, she actually makes some ground, or then those just little silly mistakes seem to be starting to creep in. 
Do you think time is time is against them now at this stage for Italy? Parity under all sorts of pressure now when she got that ball. Spain coming through to make the tackle. Keep it alive though. And Giordano with a little pop. There for Petoni. She carries it. Tackled by Rivera. Giordano hit hard again. Maratin looking to go wide. Schiavon standing at fly half. Rigoni with the pass to Madia. Held up temporarily and then manages to get to Grants. Baratine once more. Furlan, lovely hands from the full back. It's Giovanni on the outside. Now a chance for Silari. Silari still going. Silari with a lovely run and brilliant strength. She's not the biggest player, but I tell you, tough. And manages to keep possession. Offload is good. Tonesi. Back on her feet. Wasn't hell. Look at that. Tonesi still charging forward inside the last 30 seconds. And then gives away the penalty. All that good work, unfortunately, coming undone. Yeah. And then it's our player, it's our man of the match, Patricia Garcia, who got that turnover, takes the quick tap back tap and goes herself. And then she gives away the penalty. Oh. For not releasing on the ground. I haven't heard the whistle there. Hang on, hang on. Hang on. Okay. 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 No, no, it's okay. All right. It's right. He's been turned over, okay? Hang on. Okay, we're both, both, all right? Thank you, thank you. Okay. Rigoni, there is time for the line out, obviously. Last throw of the dice for the Italians. I suppose this performance just underlines how much Spain would appreciate. Line. More high-level competition. Obviously, they're not in the Six Nations now, but uh, the Sevens program's pretty active, and they've done well to beat the Italian team. First man, ball is on the front. They've been competing against the other top European nations over the last 10, 11 years. Ball is the stolen the ball. I think the Italians have lost this one, and Spain have it. If they kick it out, it should be over. Who's here? Still, they go. Wait, 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 wait. They're going to run this from well inside their own 22. Last throw of the dice, Barbara Pla to Real. As Echeverria outside her. Real didn't give the pass. Bravo. <laughs> Penalty Italy. Hold well, he really should have just kicked it out there. And uh, Baratine wasting no time getting on with it. Pushing for one last score, the Italians. Furlan standing at first receiver. Pass to Ruza. And then the knock on Some advantage. from Batoni. Well, that will be that. So there is the final whistle. And now for nothing to separate them at the half time whistle, it's Spain. With three tries in the second half from Fernandez Echeverria and then Maria Bravo, who've done enough to win this one. Baratin with one reply for the Italians, but they've been well beaten here by a Spanish team that have to wait and see whether or not that's good enough to make the fifth, eighth place playoff. I don't think it will be in score difference, but the full time score in the UCD Bowl Italy 8, Spain 22. The results from Dilling Park was 18 47, United States 26. So, an entertaining game overall. I mean, Lena, we had no tries in the first half, but uh, Spain doing enough with three in the second. We'll just have a quick look at the pool tables before I get your thoughts then. And uh, Pool B looks like this England beating the United States of America with a bonus point to the USA, crucially, got a bonus point themselves to take them to 11. We'll wait and see if that's good enough to make the final four. Spain. Well, they finished third in the pool with one victory and the Italians with no points with three defeats. So your thoughts overall? Yeah, I think that both teams probably only got into the game, into the World Cup in that second half, but I think that whether it was Spain wanted it a little bit more, I probably don't take that argument at all. I think that they have shown what they can do. 
They've shown that, yes, they have a lack of 15's experience and been able to play competitive games and how to manage games. So they need to be playing against those top eight teams in the world to, to gain that experience. But by no means is there a lack of talent and lack of want. There's huge support from their federation as well. And, you know, they show that today. Really disappointed for Italy in that game. If they still have more and more to come, they have got a federation that supports them too. They will be disappointed, but they'll just have to regroup and get as much as they possibly can from this World Cup. They've got two more competitive games ahead for them to learn an awful lot more from. Disappointment then for the Italians in the team huddle and uh, the Spanish getting their first victory of the tournament so far the supporters on the far side really appreciate the efforts particularly in that second half it was a tight first 40 minutes and it did take some real creativity and some strong running to break the deadlock and get in behind for the first try but spain just hit the purple patch from about 55 minutes through to about 70 where the offloads were sticking the handling was good and the running was tough to tackle and tough to stop but we'll go down and here from the Spanish number eight, Angela Del Pan is with Jenny Drummond. Well, Angela, you've got your first win of this tournament. How happy are you guys right now? We are really happy because we were heartbroken for the two games before. So we are really happy. We worked so hard those days training. So in the end, we got the results we wanted. So we're just too happy. Well, that second half was completely different from the first. Is the second half the type of rugby you want to play? Yeah, but in the first half you have to break the team. So I think we broke Italy and in the end we got the game we wanted. So we're so happy with that. Very well done today. Thank you. Yeah, so Angela Del Pan, the number eight for Spain today, put in a huge shift. And as you can see, supporters uh, delighted with the first victory. There's the captain, Aroa Gonzalez, over to her fans. and. Uh, a couple of young ones there as well and i'm sure enjoyed that second half in particular it's all about breaking teams down in the first 40 minutes according to the number eight that's exactly what they did okay let's go down to jenny she's with uh, michaela este with the from uh, for italy well michaela a tough day at the office so close for 50 minutes where did you come up short it was a tough match we know it was tough we expected this kind of game Luckily, we were not ready to fight until the very end of the match. We need to work, so from tonight we are going to think to the next two matches, that's all. How disappointing was it to have that try disallowed? This is rugby, I mean, referee talks, so we listen. Hard lines today and all the best in the next round. Thank you very much.